What's up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and today we're answering that question of how to get the current date in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So just like in my previous video where I talked about how you can get the current time in Python, um, where we use the date time module and package, we're gonna actually use that same one to actually get the date because as the package name, it should give us both the date and time or either or either one. So to do so, all you have to do, it's built in, so no pip installing anything, but you just have to go up and say import date time. So with that, now we're ready to actually get our date. And getting our date is as simple as doing something like print, and I can say date time dot date time dot now. And if I run this, this is again, basically from, uh, from what you've seen from my previous one, where if I run it like that, it's gonna give us our date and time. Now, how do I, so in our previous video, I showed you how to take off the date so you can get just the time. But right now I'm gonna show you how you can take off the time and just get the date. And that is simply by just doing dot date. And if I run this, what you'll see is, oops, and it's a function call. So if I run this, I do daytime because I'm just I'm importing the package and then I'm saying within that package use this module and then from within that module use this function called um, now and then chain these together to then basically out of that date that date time that comes out, just give me the date. And you'll see that we get, um, it's and it's formatted this way. Now in another video, I'll show you different ways of how you can format videos or not format videos, but how you can format dates um, to whatever format that you want. But for now, this is basically the what I would say is the best way to get the current date in Python. Now, I hope this answered your question. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.